Hello everybody, it's Half Monty, and today we're playing a new game. A game that I really didn't know much about until just recently. It's called Dear Esther. And, uh, this game's somewhat random, but obviously, I mean, not that random. There's bits, like, each time you play it, you'll get a little bit different of a story, but, um, I really haven't played much in it, and it just seemed like a good video, good, good game to do a, a blind let's play for. So, that's what I'm doing. I don't really know anything about this game. So, let's get started. All I do know is that as you play, the narrator will tell you certain things, like this. Dear Esther, I've lost track of how long I've been here and how many visits I have made overall. Certainly the landmarks are now so familiar to me that I have to remind myself to actually see the forms and shapes in front of me. I could stumble blind across these rocks, the edges of these precipices, without fear of missing my step and plummeting down to sea. Besides, I have always considered that if one is to fall, it is critical to keep one's eyes firmly open. Alright, yeah, the narrator is going to tell you little bits of pieces of the story, which appears to be a letter to somebody named Esther, which is we'll find out more about later. Um, I, I, like I said, I played a little bit of this game, but then I stopped and I was like, yeah, this would be a good luck blind. Let's play. So let's go and explore this, this little creepy house. Ooh, flashlight. That's cool. Place isn't creepy at all, huh? It's creepy as hell. Got a bathroom in here. I always like to explore. I don't know why. Bathrooms in. Hey, what's that? There's blood on the wall. Bathrooms in video games are always fun to explore. I don't know why. And that's just. That's just fucking disgusting. Why is there a bucket? Uh, what, and is that a door? Is that the the door? Okay, okay. I I'm I I think I figured out what's going on here. Somebody must have been feeling really sick. They come barreling and blow the fucking door open, and they brought their bucket because they got some explosive. Let me do that again. Explosive diarrhea. That looks just disgusting. Oh. And then they had to bring their bucket in case they puked while they're shitting. You know, you don't want to puke on yourself while you're taking, you know, taking a super dump. Anyway, uh, oh, they pooped in here too. That's just gross. Lots of nice creepy noises going on in here. Oh, is this the map of the place? I don't think I've ever seen this before. What's this? Um, looks like Greek. Alright. The music? Oh, what the fuck was that? Well, that's good. I want to go up there. I can't even jump. Yeah, the thing about this game is it's strictly exploration based, so you walk at one pace. You can't sprint, you can't jump, you can't pick things up, you just look. It's kind of disconcerting for a first-person shooter to not have those features and then also have creepy things around you. So wait, let me look at this. What music is this? That's a certificate of approval. Electrical... Whatever things? I don't know how much y'all are going to be able to see fine detail on the YouTube. But I'm going to try to... Oh wait, it's this way. I'm going to try to upload this in a pretty high resolution. No, I can't figure out what that is. Sometimes they use like simple melodies in those. Can sweetness and honesty find happiness together in a yogurt? <laughs> really? That's funny. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything in here of interest. Holy shit! That was weird. I like I got goosebumps. That was really fucking weird. Did you see that? Why did I duck down? I don't know how to duck. And then a fucking bird came from in here. Alright. Scared the shit out of me, but alright. Another building here. Why is that? Look at that. The paint can glows in the dark. I did not notice that last time. Like I said, I played just a little bit. Why is the paint can glowing in the dark? What the hell type of paint is this? It's just... Oh, luminous paint. 
Sparkfire Luminous Paint Premium Plus. Longer lasting. Okay, so this is like glow-in-the-dark paint. And that's about it. There's nothing else we can do in here. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> hmm. Two roads. Uh, this way. Looks pretty good. I mean, the only really beacon we have is that light. My assumption is that we're supposed to head towards that light. It is up on a hill, so I'm going to go up. See how that works out for me. Um, can I stay up here? Oh, I can. I thought I was going to fall. That's tricky. Donnelly reported the legend of the hermit, a holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, when all that haunts the ocean is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. The shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claim to have seen him. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. Okay, was it just me? Is it flickering in there? It's not now, but like as soon as I got here. Right in the cave? Did y'all see it? I'm not crazy. <laughs> okay. Creepy. Why didn't I turn my flashlight when I got in here? Weird. Fucking weird. Also, just as a note, I don't really... Fuck, am I gonna fall? Am I gonna hurt myself? I didn't come this way last time. Oh, maybe I can... Oh! No! Shit! Ow! Oh, okay. Thought I could make it. Damn it. <sighs> well... Uh, yeah, like I was saying, I'm not really planning on starting and stopping this at any specific point, so I'm just going to play, record it, cut it up later, so if I don't say hey in the next episode, that's why. That's all. This engine is, is based off of the Source engine. This used to be a, a Source mod, apparently. And, um... Is that a stairs going up? Well, I want to go up. But there's something over here. When you were born, your mother told me, a hush fell over the delivery room. A great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No one knew what to say, so you cried to fill the vacuum. I always admired you for that, but you cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. I began to manufacture vacuums just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six and had gone completely by the time we met, but your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. Kind of creepy if he's talking to Esther and he's saying that he tried to make her cry all the time. You know what else is weird? What the fuck is this? It's like a backwards E, an arrow, like a double arrow. And then it's like, okay. What the fuck? So there's this, whatever the hell this is. And it curves around into an arrow, which looks like it goes into. arrow to a line going this way, this way, and then there's like two more arrows jutting off in this direction. What the fuck is... <laughs> Whatever, I'm going up those stairs. It's it's frustrating, I noticed last time I played this, which I only got a little bit further, I'll tell you when I get there, but it's frustrating because you have no sprint button, so you, it, it kind of deters you from really exploring everything. I feel like, but I, I I don't know about that. Definitely has a very good system to coerce you to go in the direction it wants you to go, to go in. But I've not watched anybody else play this game. I don't know of... I'm sure there are a few out there, other Let's Plays of this game, but I just hadn't heard anything about it. 
very beautiful. Like I said, based off the Swords engine, but they rebuilt um, a lot of it just for this game. I think the only thing that is source is like the menu screen, and then if you press the tilde key, you get that. Sorry, I didn't mean to break it, break the uh, experience for you. Oh, that's right where I fell. Now I'm on the other side. Okay, that's good. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I feel like he's gonna say something soon, so I was just getting quiet, but I guess he's not. You never know when he's gonna just. Donnelly's book had not been taken that. out from the library since 1974. I decided it would never be missed as I slipped it under my coat and avoided the librarian's gaze on the way out. If the subject matter is obscure, the writer's literary style is even more so. It is not the text of a stable or trustworthy reporter. Perhaps it is fitting that my only companion in these last days should be a stolen book written by a dying man. That's... That really doesn't explain or give away anything as far as the story... When someone had died okay. or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath you could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Oh. Huh. Yeah, this game's pretty cool about that, like... And just as you're walking up on that, it tells you what it is, and you're like, oh, lines. But at the same time, who the hell cuts chalk or lines into a cliffside with people dying? I quote right. directly, a motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? Well, this is interesting. Look at that boat. I want to go look at that boat. Last, uh, I got I got past this part last time I played in those. Dear Esther, oh, fuck. I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason, or retribution, he still spiraled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. What the hell is that? If you guys are have stereo headphones on, I just got like <laughs> sound when I was looking this way, sound coming from over here, but then as I turned my head it kept falling to my left, so that's why I was spitting around, sorry. <laughs> But it, that's the same lighthouse we were just at. Why didn't we come this way? That would have been faster. But anyway, I want to check out that boat. Let's see. I mean, this cave looks interesting and all. I find myself increasingly unable to find that point where the hermit ends and Paul and I begin. We are woven into a sodden blanket, stuffed into the bottom of a boat to stop the leak and hold back the ocean. My neck aches from staring up at the aerial. It mirrors the dull throb in my gut where I am sure I've begun to form another stone. In my dreams, it forms into a perfect representation of Lot's wife, head over her shoulder, staring along the motorway at the approaching traffic in a vacuum of fatalistic calm. Okay. Well, I guess I can swim. Ooh, there we go. No, I can't get out of the fucking water. Alright. Just gonna go straight for the boat then. Go oh oh no oh, fuck. That's that's not good. I don't what am I seeing? Come back. What the hell was all that? Looks like 
looked like I saw glimpses of the tower over there. It's like slanted sideways. But I didn't really get the whatever the hell the rest of that was. Alright, so looks like the only place we can go is this cave. It's one way to coerce people to go where you want them to go is just make them black out, I guess. And that's cool. It's kind of pretty. My light turned on. The lighting in this game is pretty damn good. Look at this shit. Ooh, ooh la la. 